Lansing's 2022 State of the City address was virtual this year, but people didn't take issue with that. However, they did have remarks about not getting any prior notice about it. It's a chance for, for the, the, the mayor to update the community on, on things that are happening. Mayor Andy Shore explaining the importance of a State of the City address. Shore held one on Tuesday, but there were a lot of questions about it. State of the City address um, was a pre-recorded message that came out earlier this week after it had been given. According to this press release coming from the mayor's office, the state of the city address was supposed to be held Tuesday afternoon at 3.30, but media outlets didn't get the press release until after 4.30. The lack of prior notice prompted journalists in the area to take to social media. One journalist wrote on Twitter, it was an interesting choice for the event to be held without prior notice. Another reporter said she thinks this is the city's way of shielding itself from accountability. People may be um, asking, it, do you think he was hiding something no. by intentionally doing it? No, I don't think so. Kyle Malin is a political analyst here in Lansing. He's also the editor of the Michigan Information and Research Service. He says the mayor's office probably didn't make it a priority to notify the media or public ahead of time because during the 33 minute address, short cover things he's been talking about for months now, like developments in the city and gun violence. I don't want to be overly critical, but it, it wasn't the most exciting speech. It wasn't it was boring, to be honest. These addresses are meant to advance an agenda. So if, there, if, the, if the address isn't going to help in advancing that agenda, then the effort isn't going to be put into it. After hearing from Malin, we decided it was time to take a trip to the City Hall building and ask Shore himself why he and his team didn't tell anyone about the speech before it happened. Didn't have a, an announcement date because our, our video folks were working on it. Uh, Congresswoman Slotkin agreed to do an intro, so that came at the last minute. So again, I can't say it's going to be out, you know, this Wednesday or this Thursday, because as soon as we had it ready, we put it out. Now, aside from asking Mayor Andy Schur about how journalists found out about the address, I also asked him how the public found out about it. He actually told me the press release for the address was actually posted on the city's social media, and there were also emails sent out about it. For now, I'm your Southside Neighborhood reporter here in Lansing. Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.